Strength and honor. Strength and honor. At my signal, unleash hell. the sound isn't too bad it's a little echoey OBS whenever they do an update they like to delete everything I've set up in my audio and that happens all the time you guys know and some of you are gonna complain but I think the audio is good enough all right we should get a little better visuals here all right so how's the bear market <laughs> um, it's a little brutal so it's Stuffly brutal. The stock market super choppy. Uh, don't use leverage. Don't do call options. The Wall Street's just chopping up and down and running everyone's stops. And during expirations, they like to pump the price or dump it. Wherever uh, mostly everyone's positioned with their call options. They like to wreck them and take everyone's money, and that's what bear markets do. Um, besides that, though, I mean, crypto, Bitcoin's holding up. It pumped last night. It's currently at 21359 Ethereum at 1700 and the merge is coming up. And there's going to be a proof-of-work uh, fork, so we're going to have three Ethereums. Ethereum Classic, uh, Proof of Stake Ethereum, Vitalik's, and then the miners are going to fork off. Hopefully that pumps, at least for a few weeks, even a few days. And if you're quick about it, you might get some free money again, right? Um, it's kind of like the Bitcoin Cash uh, fork back in the day. So... About a month and a half ago, maybe two months, I don't know. I've lost track of time. It's been like a long summer, which is great. I love summer. Um, a lot of developments with Maxi and uh, the perpetual pools have come out. Obviously, if you're in my free Telegram and uh, following me on Twitter, you know about it. If not, I, I guess you don't want to know about things happening. Listen, guys. Whoever pays attention during the bear market sets themselves up for the bull market. Bear markets can turn whales into plebs, and bear markets are a plebs' opportunity to become whales. And I know this. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going to try to give you guys enough information here without giving away too much alpha, but you might get lucky and I might, because, you know, when I'm talking, I try to keep talking so there's no dead space. And sometimes I do just give away alpha. So tune in. Try to listen all the way through. So when it comes to Maxi and the Perpetuals, I don't think a lot of people in the Hex community are paying attention. 
and that's good. That's opportunity. But then again, I do want these pools to fill up. We need them to fill up. If they don't fill up now, and fill up, I mean, it would be nice if all the pools had 150 million uh, minted each, so we get the big payday, or not the big payday, we get the, the bonus, right? Uh, longer does pay much, much better, so longer is really what matters. It's not really the size of the stake, but it does help, and um, some of you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you will. All right, so I didn't prepare for this video. I just worked out, I had a long day. So I'm just going to, I'm going to wing it. And hopefully this video turns out well. All right, so I'm probably going to miss a lot of things, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to go off uh, memory and for me paying attention. So obviously you need to follow Divcatcher and Gold Key. Those guys are awesome super smart they're pretty laid back and cool and uh very smart real cool guys maxi i've talked about it i made a video about it obviously it's worked out pretty well in the bear market you you know hex fell a lot all the way down to like three two cents it wicked down there right and then popped back up uh where is hex now it's at four cents uh maxi the ratio is two to one or something let's take a look yeah it's over two so one maxi is 2.14 hex that's pretty good and it sort of kind of like saved you or hedged you during the drop more so than sitting in anything else besides stable. Now, a lot of people aren't paying attention because of Hedron and Icosa and Wasa. Or, <laughs> and listen, in the beginning, I was very skeptical. I didn't like the fact that people could get out of their stakes. I love emergency and stake bonuses. That really adds up over the years. And I don't like people being able to just, you know, get off scot-free, but you know, I've updated my worldview, and um, I like Hedron, I like Icosa, I like Watson, whatever. But I'm more of a maxi over here with the perpetuals. And why is that? Well, I, I'm going to be honest. I just think Hedron, it, it is needed. It's going to be probably successful. It's going to be great. It's needed. We do need sort of like a bond market auction uh, derivative for Hex, but I believe it's a little ahead of its time. Like we need more people in Hex, right? For there to be enough demand on, on a secondary market. And also you do have to account gas fees on the Ethereum network. Now I know on Pulse Chain, you're not gonna have to worry about it. And it's probably gonna run really smooth, smooth over there but on the ethereum network we're looking at insane gas fees just in the next bull cycle probably in a year or two right so that's you, you have to consider that okay i'm just gonna leave it at that but it's gonna be great on pulse chain so I know Richard wants Hex to be valuable on both networks, Pulse Chain and the Ethereum network. And yeah, you could do some liquidity bonding and that'll help out a lot and that'll probably happen. But the perpetuals, these pools that are being created are essentially they're futures contracts and they are derivatives of hex, but they're, the underlying is hex, right? But what they do is they save hex from Ethereum gas fees and they save the plebs, right? So I could see in the very near future 
these perpetuals to be on the hex.com website because do you really want new onboards staking on their own on the Ethereum network when in a few years they might not be able to end stake because of the high gas fees listen i mean just uh, the other day it was around noon uh, and I'm, i was doing some swaps and it's still 30 40 dollars in the depth of the bear market that means it's it, the gas fees are going to be insane the next bull cycle and no, the ETH 2.0, the merge, it's not fixing the gas fees that I know of, that what I've heard from Richard. So, it's a no-brainer. I mean, these perpetual pools, they save everyone from Ethereum gas fees to stake and to, more importantly, end stake, Right? Now, I've got a little tweet over here. It was, I think it was a very important tweet. A lot of people aren't, I mean, everyone's talked about the, the perpetual pools and everything, but I feel like there could be more uh, push, right? Because, like it or not, I do believe this is the future of Hex, where people are not so much going to be staking on their own they're going to be staking with pools because why would you stake on your own if you could get more yield by staking with the pools because you do you get more yield now the only the only reason i could see someone staking on their own besides the fact that they're a big you know a big player you know decent sized whale or whatnot is if you don't trust yourself and you can't hold something liquid because holding these perpetual tokens, they're, they're always liquid. You could sell whenever you want, right? Uh, so I guess if you don't trust yourself, you have to stake on your own. The problem is, even if you do that, do that on the Ethereum blockchain, right? It's going to cost you a fortune if you're staking like four or five years or more so you have to count that in especially like past the 10 12 12 year mark i mean we're looking at it, it we don't know but it could be really bad like you're not going to be able to unstake it on ethereum network right that's why we're doing pulse chain so you're essentially um just giving away your uh, ethereum hex if you're if you're uh staking really far out into the future and you know if you look at this tweet down here i was like looks like the cat's out of the bag real alpha right here you must utilize the perpetual pools moving forward if you want expensive hex on eth and you will also get higher yield while staying liquid perpetual pools compete against the whales in the system you move up in rank and that's true and maybe some people don't like that you know they were hoping that um yeah everyone's gonna get their copy on paul's chain but your all your hex on the ethereum network the ethereum network hex is going to have value because it's going to have more yield because only the whales could play in that ecosystem because of the high gas fees but the perpetuals now solve that so it's not really in their interest the whales to let you plebs know that you can play in their uh you know in their pool in their pond or and you could move up still on the ethereum hex basically you can move up in the leagues by utilizing these perpetual pools. All right. So dip catcher wrote here, hex whales don't want you to join the staking pools because they don't want you to be able to afford the gas fees to end, to end your stakes. They want you to stake 
so low so it bleeds out into their stakes so you can't compete with them as a seller it's really small for me it's hard for me to see all right so it is a wealth like it's a wealth transfer from the plebs to the whales on the ethereum network hex you get it so if you have liquid hex one if you're holding liquid hex you're being diluted and if you're not restaking you're being diluted but restaking right now on the ethereum network may not be the best play especially during this bear market what you could do instead is join these perpetual pools and you know as you can see maxi trades at a premium to hex there's a reason for that now i don't want to give off I don't want to give away too much alpha, but that premium, it only widens with time. It gets better and better. So, and if you actually wait till the end of that pool stake ends, you're going to get insane amount of yield that you could have never gotten yourself, right? Now, they're launching more uh, perpetual pools and they're doing them all at once. And I understand why they're doing that. They're, they're trying to front run uh, the fork, you know, Pulse Chain. So we've got Base, Trio, Lucky, and Desi. If you don't know, Base is a one-year stake. And it's it, it automatically rolls over every year, every year. All right? Then we have Trio. That's a three-year stake. Again, same with that, right? Every three years it comes due and then it rolls over and you could uh, jump back into the stake. We have Lucky, seven year, and Desi, 10 year. Now, don't ask me for, I'm not even gonna give you guys any like uh, strategy or anything. Cause it's all, and any, if anyone does right now, they don't, they don't know what they're talking about because we kind of have to kind of have to wait towards the end to see how much these pools fill up now team is i believe extremely lucrative and this is why i made that maxi video and in every every other video or many videos i was like i was giving you guys a, a hint i'm like i really really like maxi and by the way i i have you, disclaimer i have a lot of maxi okay so you can only get team token with maxi what is team token it's not a pool it's a staking token which is extremely deflationary why is it extremely deflationary well i'll tell you in a minute but first this is how team works so before the pools, these pools go active and the stake starts, just like Maxi, you could stake your team token and you could pick any one of these pools to stake with. The team token is getting, I forgot exactly how much, but it depends how many well, it depends how many other people are staking team within each pool, but the team token rewards from each pool is the longer pays better bonus and bigger pays better bonus. Okay, so you're getting like quite possibly you're getting outsized returns in yield. But also depends who you're, how much competition you're looking at. We do know that there could only be two, uh, 293 million less now uh, team tokens minted into existence because you could only mint the team token with Maxi. I forgot the numbers, of course, because I am, I am unprepared. Uh, I... There is um there's a mystery box that gets like 
30% of the maxi, and then um, it also gets 50% of the supply of the team tokens, and it's going to, no expectations, but I'm assuming they're going to act like a, a benevolent whale. They'll provide liquidity, and uh, maybe they will, they could do all kinds of things. They could um, just do an airdrop to all team holders. They could, um, uh, they could burn the tokens. They could provide it for an exchange. They could do all kinds of things. No expectations, all right? And I trust these guys. They seem very cool. Um, and, you know, th there's always trust, guys. There's always, you have to trust humans. And the biggest thing in business and finance is trust. And you can't get rid of that. So, but these perpetual pools and everything, they're trustless. There's, there's no admin keys, nothing. Once the pools start, they're on autopilot and they're very secure, just like Hex. Very similar to Hex. So, where was I? So here's what's really cool. When you mint your team tokens with your maxi, there's going to be less team tokens than maxi. So that's a very low, low supply. And then some people are going to stake their team tokens with these perpetual pools to get outsized yield. It's pretty much yield on steroids. The less people uh, staking, the more yield you get. The more people staking with these pools, the higher the price of the team token is going to go because there's less liquid on the market. Now you can sort of emergency end stake these team tokens if you see the price of team just you know exploding higher. But here's what's really cool, and I love how um, a, a Tanta Nami and uh, Gold Key thought of this. Um, you could emergency end stake, but you get a penalty of 3.69%. That's not a very high penalty. It's very low. I like it. But it's actually really high in the grand scheme of things as time goes on. Because there's one thing you could always count on, and that's human greed. So when, when a lot of these mofos start end staking their team tokens, uh, it's just going to keep dwindling the team supply. I guarantee you 10 years, 5 years, even even like 3 years from now, like who knows, maybe 20% of the supply is going to be gone or more. I, I don't know. It all depends how high the price pumps. Um, so that's really cool. Now, listen, I, I will give a little bit of advice. I mean, if you're going to... If you're going to mint some team tokens with your maxi, for one, you're sacrificing your maxi. That's really hard to do because maxi is super valuable. I know how valuable it is. I do not think most people know how valuable it is. <laughs> and I'm just not going to tell you how valuable it is, but it's valuable. It's more valuable than people think it is right now. It's hilarious. Um, like I said, uh, bear markets are... Bear markets is where you set yourself up to be the new whale class. And, all right. So, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get some team. At least get some, right? And um, if you do get some team, maybe stake some. Keep some liquid because I do believe there will be, there will be more pools uh, retweet if you would stake your perpetual pool tokens to amplify your hex yield. Is that what you wrote? Can you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see that. Cool. If these pools or unannounced pools become huge and the team minting and staking rate are low, the team stake yield could exceed maxi yield. The team launch rules inject. All right. Listen, nobody knows if team's going to outperform maxi. I mean, nothing is certain. Matter of fact, there's actually a lot of... Um, uh, crap, where is it? 
There's actually a lot of team that's already been minted right now. Total team minted is 27 million as of today. Today is uh, it's the 9th. Wow, shit. That's a lot. Um, let me, um, bear with me. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just uh, flying and gunning here. I updated it, refreshed it. It's 19 million team are staked already. That's a lot. Liquid team is only 7.74 million. I mean, I personally could pump the shit out of the team price if it's only going to end up being, like, under 20 million. <laughs> it's not. It's probably going to be a little... It's going to be more. But, um... Total team minted as of now is 27 million. That's a lot, guys. That pretty much means 27 million maxi is gone. So, th that's why it's hard to give up your maxi for the team token because the more team tokens minted the more rare and less supply of maxi right <laughs> but at the same time it's a one-time mint ever in history of team tokens it's a one-time mint ever and it's a deflationary coin and i will make the argument it's extremely deflationary extremely you could always count a human greed. Trust me. The, I mean, maybe there'll only be like half the supply in like just four years or something crazy like that. Um, but I don't want to give away too much, you know, <laughs> alpha here. Um, which pools to... Okay, so some of you are thinking, well, I'm only going to hold on to my maxi, buy more maxi, mint more team. Here's the thing. Um, you want to get some Desi, too, <laughs> because Maxi did really well, and there's some new whales coming in because they see how great Maxi did, and they're loading up on Desi and Lucky and Trio. You, you, you have to play, you have to play it from every angle, because there's going to be times where just Trio pumps and outperforms everything, and then... You're, if you're not holding any, then you're going to be kicking yourself. So you kind of want to get some trio. And then there's going to be times when Lucky is just rallying and pumping, and the maybe Maxi, Desi, and, and the other ones aren't. And then you want to you want to have some of that as well. I mean, you could trade it and swap it for the other perpetuals, and you know do some massive arbitrage trading. And those opportunities will be there. And they'll be there on two chains. I always forget. You guys don't realize how rich we're going to be. <laughs> I, you know, I know it's it, like people just don't get it right now because we're in a bear market. Some people are down. I mean, how much are you really down? I told, like, when I first made a video, I mean, first of all, I talked about Hex eight months before it even rallied to three cents. And no one believed me. I was like, I have the next Bitcoin. I have the next Bitcoin. No one believed me. But when I first came out my video, the price was running away. And I was I, my, I was having computer problems, all kinds of crazy shit. And um, it was under 10 cents. But if you didn't buy and you bought higher, those people in my private group who watched us buying Hex, you know, like half a penny. All, and then he, they started buying at 20 cents. Like they, <laughs> they finally capitulated and bought... But um, even if you bought Hex at the all-time high, or let's say 50 cents, it all depends on how much you staked it and how far out. If you made a ladder, you should always make a ladder. Um, how much are you really down? If, we're, if we have, like, over... Technically, with all the emergency end stakes, we have, we have over 40% APY. I mean, how much are you really down? You're not really down 90%. You're down like 60 to 70. It all depends how far out you staked, right? And uh, people forget that in a bear market. I, you know, stop looking at the staker app and, and the dollar value. It's, you have to look at the units, the amounts of hex you have 
because that's what's going to matter when hex is over three dollars five dollars hex is over three dollars four five dollars it will run to ten dollars i believe that because the liquid supply is only shrinking hex is deflationary as well especially with these perpetual pools become extremely deflationary these are futures markets i know how futures markets work i've been in the stock market for a very very fucking long time i've held mining stocks and energy stocks for like 12 13 years for like a 10 20x i could hold these perpetuals for 15 years to become a like you know unfathomably well off unfathomable i can't talk unfathomably all right anyways um where was i oh let me get a drink i'm not gonna edit this My mustache is like half blonde. It looks stupid in the, on the video. It's like blotchy. Uh, let's take a break. Anyways, I, I got I got a better camera. It, it was you know, you guys want it? I need more views. You guys need to subscribe, <laughs> share my videos. Please share my videos and like and please comment. Like anything, it it all helps. Because you guys know, my, my main channel, my big one with like 8,000 subs, it's probably at 7,000 now. They remove like a person a day. It, it's, uh, it, when you type in MMG Invest, it doesn't even pop up. The small account pops up, but not the big one. All right, where was I? <clears throat> oh, let me, um, let's do a little hex flex. All right, you guys see that on the screen? It's a Hex Toys official, one of a kind. Well, not one of a kind, but special edition. They're all sold out. This thing, you feel like a million bucks when you wear this. You really do. The quality is, um, it's, it's like, just like the million dollar watch, actually. Um, it's really neat. You guys should, um, Go to uh, Hex Toys Official, follow him on Twitter. Um, of course, he does NFTs and uh, physical action figures. It's really cool. All the stuff he does is really top notch. It's good quality. And um, those will be the real Hex Flexes, I believe, in the future. And uh, all of the things will probably be very valuable in the future. Imagine a world 10 million, 100 million hexagons and. Um, you know, you've got special edition uh, hex toys. I think it'll be really neat. If you look at the roadmap as well. It, the guy's the guy probably works really hard. He does a lot. I don't know how he does half the stuff. Anyways, where was I? Base. So base is a one year uh, rolling. Um, Cool, right? And a lot of people are thinking, well, I'm not going to get any base. Here's what's funny. And maybe a lot of people are thinking, well, I'm not going to get a lot of yield uh, staking my team in base. Well, it, instead of holding just liquid team, you could just put it in base and you know it's going to come out in a year from now, right? A year is not a long time, guys. And that in a year from now will be like we're starting a new bull market if we're not like in it, right? Um, and you'll get yield. And the the base pool, because it's every year, I believe more and more people are going to join the base pool instead of just holding liquid hex. Because if you're holding liquid hex, I mean you are being diluted. So instead of being diluted, you might as well just hold liquid base and you're getting yield, right? So the base pool might, not might, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be the biggest pool 
out of all of them. And the bigger it is, the more yield it'll provide for uh, team stakers. Here's another, here's what's really cool. If you guys like Hedron, right? A lot of people love Hedron. Well, you know, the maxi uh, pool, uh, we got a, I forgot, I don't believe it was a 6 bon 6x bonus, maybe it was just a 4x bonus of Hedron when it first started and the staking pool started. But um, that Hedron, from now on, goes to the team token holders. And man, oh man, is that a lot of Hedron. It's going to be one of the biggest Hedron whales. Like, like top, like, I don't know, maybe the second largest or I, I didn't really look into it. It might be the biggest. I don't know. I doubt it because um, the founder of Hedron probably will always have more. But um, so if you like Hedron, you could just get some team and you forever have a perpetual infinity money printing team token that prints you not only hex but hedron and then on top of that if you stake your team token with trio lucky and desi the trio well it it increases what the with the stake links right you also get back some of your maxi if you hold on to the stake till the till maturity, right? I forgot how much it is. I, I believe it's maybe five percent uh, for trio, ten for lucky, and fifteen for Desi. Or I forgot. Unfortunately, I did make a th like a three hour long video for. Uh, private members though and I I have the information there but I made that a while ago but anyways you could get some of your maxi back and when you do get your maxi back when you unstake your team token you're getting your team token back you're getting your hedron tokens on top of that you're getting some of your maxi token back and you're getting your hex yield right that's a lot and then the price of team is probably I don't know it, it's like in a whole different galaxy um, by then right especially for Desi if you stake some team for Desi and you actually hold on all the way I mean it probably doesn't even have to be a lot guys I mean, even if you did like a thousand dollars worth today, like right now, take like a thousand bucks, buy hacks at four cents. Um, that's that alone is a fantastic deal. Then swap your hex for maxi. Maxi's in the dip, I believe. Where's maxi at? Well, yeah. I mean, it rallied to 14 cents. Now it's at 8 cents. It might go a little bit lower because they're raising uh, interest rates. And I'll talk about that in, in a separate video. But buy hacks at 4 cents or less. Buy maxi at 8 cents or less. Mint your, mint your team with your maxi. And then spread it out, keep some liquid, but spread it out and stake in all the pools. And you're guaranteed a lot of yield in hacks if you could hold on. And that's maybe why you would want to um, hold a little bit of liquid, but you also want to hold a little bit of liquid team because there's going to be even more opportunities and more pools. Um, there could be a, a, a megaloth or megaloth, whatever, um, pool with all of these, with, with all the perpetuals in it or something. Um, I mean, the, we could, 
these guys are creative. They're going to figure out something amazing. I know they are. And um, there's going to be more opportunities. Maybe, though, I'm, I'm pretty sure there'll be pools of Pulse Chain, Pulse X, um, all the Richard Hart products, right? And then maybe as time goes on, this expands out into other maybe popular um, projects on Pulse Chain. Maybe the incentive token for Pulse X it may have some something to do with team. I mean, you're crazy if you don't get some team, in my opinion. Now, how much should you allocate of your maxi to team? How much of your hex should you allocate into these pools? By the way, very important. Very, very important. Do not send your maxi to the team contract. You have to use the DAP, the website, the front end, to, to make your team. If you send it to the maxi contract, or no, if you send your maxi, your maxi token to the team contract, the shit's gone. Do not do not do that. All right, I just have to warn you guys. Um, what else? Yeah, you, the only way you can mint um, Dusty, Lucky, and Trio on base is with Hex. Not with Maxi. Maxi is only for team. So, there's... Why hold liquid hacks when you could at least uh, just hold some liquid base or hold liquid trio or, lu or lucky? Because the ratio, right, the spread, the premium, is probably going to be higher than hex. Now, I... I'm going to give a little alpha, all right? Like, the founders, for some reason, they think there's going to be a discount. There's no reason for that. Not, not in my opinion. And maybe I'll, I'll explain why in a different video. But maybe there might be uh, a discount for a very short period of time and it'll be like a spike in a couple days or a day. And that's when everyone, when the date is announced for Paul's chain. And then, uh, then maybe Hex will like, you know, just spike and rally so hard uh, that, it, uh, that the premium for these perpetuals disappear. And that'll be a possibly a very awesome dip buying opportunity. Or not, because of the liquidity bonding in the pools, right? Hart's Law. So, yeah. What else? Go to... Where's the, that's the Hedron price. You can go to my Twitter, or go to Dip Catcher's Twitter and uh, find the links. I believe it's Maximus. I don't want to say the wrong one. Don't be lazy. Do your own research and make sure you're on the right websites. Check in multiple, multiple sources, uh, sources Telegram, Twitter and their YouTube videos and get make sure you're on the right links and don't get fished. And take part. What else can I talk about when it comes to Maximus? There's there's just so much to it. There's so much guys. It's really a lot. I'm not gonna talk about timing. Because everyone's already going to start thinking about timing. It's hard to time because there's a lot of things that have to line up to time things when you're uh, joining these pools. You would have to, I mean, you, 
you want to look at you know where all the stakes are at obviously there's a lot at that year at that 10 year mark in uh 2030 and, and past and uh, lucky is right before it front running it uh another reason why these whales don't like this I'm just going to say this, guys. This is, I believe, and it should be, the future of Hex. It's great for marketing as well. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest, like, turnoffs for people when it comes to Hex is, oh, I don't want to lock it and not be able to access my funds. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of yield. And that's one of the biggest uh, value propositions for Hex, right? that people lock it and they can't really unlock it. I mean, they can, but they, they have to wait like at least 70% uh, so th of their of the stake length so they don't start nuking their principal, right? Uh, and, but the pools, these pools are locking hex. So the value proposition is it, it doesn't you know destroy the value proposition of hex at all. Matter of fact, this is extremely bullish for hex because this uh, enables more locking of the supply of hex, and it benefits the entire community because they get more yield and they can compete against uh, the early, early guys who bought a lot of Hex, tens of millions, 100 million, 50 million, you know? And a lot of those guys have been dropping off this bear market, which is fantastic. This is what I was hoping for. Um, but this is the future. Like marketing wise, people, you could tell them now, you don't have to lock your, uh, Hex to get amazing yield, which beats inflation that's destroying everyone right now and will be probably destroying everyone for many years, this entire decade. And now you can stay liquid because people don't like doing that. Like society today is not like society after the Great Depression where people valued savings and they valued um yield and dividends people want to get rich quick that's what everyone's here for especially people in crypto um now here's another thing with um with the perpetuals and maxi and team and all this it's actually not that very hard to understand in the beginning yeah there's a little bit of a learning curve but it's not too complex i believe the perpetuals and maxi and and all this, it's much simpler to understand than Hedron, in my opinion. And um, it's great uh, for new onboards. And again, you should be getting them into the perpetuals anyways, because if you're staking right now on the Ethereum network, you're technically, if you're staking many years out into the future, you're, you're giving up your hex on the Ethereum network because you might not be able to afford or it might not be worth end staking those small stakes that are out five, eight, ten plus years from now, right? So you might as well do the perpetuals. And you're probably going to be better off because there's going to be a premium to Hex. And um, you'll be liquid, right? If you need the money, you got an emergency, you could access it now. But at the same time, that hex is still locked up. Also, this t reduces selling pressure on hex itself. So here's what's really cool. You buy hex, then you have to use hex to take part in these pools. And then when you sell your liquid perpetual, you don't have to sell back into hex you can sell you can take profits into stable or, or ethereum or pulse chain so it's kind of like more of a one way one way street for hex to pump the price of hex now here's what a lot of people might think well 
hex is underlying so hex goes up in price and it drags these perpetuals values up their price what if that shit re uh, reverses right with time as these perpetual pools become more popular what if uh these pools drag the hex price higher i believe that that's what's going to happen once we hit um once these pools become very popular and the liquid hex out on the market becomes very uh, illiquid from all of these pools being made and the hex being staked away. Or maybe that won't happen, but either way, it's all net positive for hex. And everyone holding these perpetual pools. I, it's like a win, 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 win. Keep winning, man. I'm really excited about team. I'm really excited for Maxi. So you guys need to be paying attention. I know this bear market is extremely brutal and, um, you know, like a little depressing and whatnot. Um, you got to keep your head on your shoulders. Uh... They're, they can't keep raising rates. If they do, the pitchforks come out and, you know, like, everything's kind of falling apart. Energy crisis. Um, globally, there's a lot of tensions with a lot of superpowers and nations. And I... Come on, guys. They're going to print trillions and trillions and trillions when um, the global tensions really start popping off. Uh, that'll be the next excuse, like the coof, right? So, um, yeah. What else can I talk about? There's more to all of this. Just don't want to give away too much. There might be pools in the future which will um, fill in the gaps between base... Trio, Lucky, and Desi as well. We need, I, I need everyone in the private group. It's 120 some people in there. I need everyone listening to me on these videos. And there's a lot of people who are influ influential in the Hex community who listen to me. Um... You guys need to talk more about these perpetual pools. We need these to fill up. So we get a good first, you know, launch. Uh, we want all of them filled up, 150 mil. So we get the bigger pays better bonus. So moving forward, this will be the new way to acquire hacks and the yield. And like I said, this just sucks up all the liquid hex. All right, guys? And it does dilute the whales. And, you know, they've had a great time, you know, these past few years. But um, you got to share some of that meat on that bone. Um, this will also ratchet up that T-shirt rate. <laughs> so no more... Uh, uh, roll, uh, uh, roll over, uh, hexagon stakers, rolodexicans, um, doing small, uh, one month, uh, rolling stakes and then living off of it. Like it's a, you know, like a high paying six figure job. <laughs> so you're going to have to stake further out, but I don't know what it's, how, how badly it's going to ratchet up that t-shirt rate. But it's probably going to be pretty bad. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, <laughs> what else? I do believe this will be on Staker App. It's going to be sick. Staker App's going to be like, um, you know all those commercials you see for um, uh, the crypto uh, apps on your phone? I forgot what they're called. And even the stock market ones. And that's what all these kids do these days. I mean, all these kids in high school, like, have a a, more, a brokerage account on their damn cell phone. They never even logged in on a laptop. Well, I believe Staker app is going to be the number one um, bridge 
to the normies and it'll be I, I, you know they've done an amazing job I love Staker app and um, it's free go download it um, if you haven't for whatever reason I don't know um, but it's going to be real uh, intuitive and easily I believe easy to use and probably really addicting because it already is and I believe it'll have the perpetuals on it and um, you'll be able to see the stakes and everything just like you do but it's probably going to be way way better Paul's chain on there there's also um, there is a new fiat I mean you guys know because you should have watched uh, Richard's last um, last video I don't know if it's on his channel but um, we just had Pulse Con, Pulse Chain Conference and uh, he went on there that was a very good um, video you guys should watch that if you haven't I, it's on my Twitter I posted it and um, I'm just going to leave you guys with this I don't want to make the video too long, of course, as always. And uh, leave in the comment section what you want me to cover. Um, share my videos, like them, join the private group. Links are below the video. Find me on Twitter. I, I haven't been posting on Instagram. I'll get back on that. And uh, we're going to start ramping things up uh, going into fall and winter. All right, guys. Stay cool out there. We've got a better chance of survival if we work together. Do you understand? We stay together, we survive. Pleased to be you, the Legionnaires of Scipio!